Welcome back to The Man in the Middle. I am your host, Bill West. Before we get started, if you like what you've seen today, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, like this comment, or, you know, like the comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber already. And, uh, you know, drop a comment down below. I try to get back to everybody sooner or later, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I do. It uh, might take a week or two, but I try to get back to everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about... The novelization of Alien 3. This is the original, the novelization of the original screenplay by William Gibson. Uh, I'm in the middle of it. I've uh, been trying to find time to read it off and on for the last month or so. I just haven't gotten there. It's a really good book. This is by Pat Cadigan. Uh, uh, long time members of the uh, channel know that I am a big alien fan in the uh, in the book format the movie scare the hell out of me so I don't I try not to watch it <laughs> uh, the only one I've watched all the way through is aliens just because I like the uh, the military science fiction aspect of it uh, alien scares the hell out of me alien alien 3 bored me resurrection eh. <laughs> but the literary works of the Alien series I absolutely love. Uh, this is Gibson's first Alien 3 draft. It's totally in line with Cameron's Aliens, a tense, rollicking adventure that's loaded with imagination. This is by Dana Geek. Gibson's script has given a life to a new storyline where Hicks gets to live out his potential, Ripley steps back, and a new xenomorph variant appears as they become even more deadly. Uh... It's very cool. <laughs> Instead of everybody dying at the beginning of Aliens 3, uh, the Sulaco makes it to an inhabited system uh, where the the inhabitants find that... Uh, oh. <laughs> you know the events of the Aliens movie. A face hugger uh, attaches itself to somebody. I'm not going to say who. Uh, but it's not the dog alien. It's a brand new type of alien. Uh, this is William Gibson's never produced first draft sequel to Aliens. The Salako on its return journey from LV-426 enters a sector controlled by the Union of Progressive Peoples, a nation state engaged in ongoing arms race. The UPP personnel aboard the Salako find a hypersleep tubes with alien or with uh, Ripley, Newt, and an injured Hicks. A facehugger attacks, and the commandos narrowly escape, taking what remains of Bishop. The vessel, the vessel continues to Anchor Point, a space station, a military installation the size of a small moon, where it falls under the, the mil control of the military weapons division. Boarding the Sulaco, a team of colonial marines and scientists are, is assaulted by a pair of xenomorph drones, and the fight Ripley's cryotube is badly damaged. Hicks and Newt are awakened, and he begins to hear rumors of an experimentation taking place on Anchor Point, the cloning and genetic modification of xenomorphs, the kind of experimentation that could yield a monstrous hybrid and perhaps even a queen. Uh, like I said, this is Pat by Pat Cadigan. Uh, by Titan Books. Let's see the pro twenty four ninety five uh four hundred and thirty six. It's a small it's a smaller hardbound, but uh you know. Do I have another one around here somewhere? Probably not. Well actually I do, but I'm not gonna grab any off the shelves. Uh this actually looks like the size of a book club edition. It's a little worn because I've been carrying it around. Uh I've had it for a while. I just haven't had a chance to uh get back to recording and uh i haven't really haven't had a chance to read this uh I, what little i've read i've enjoyed it uh if you're an aliens fan you're going to want to pick this up it's just to uh see something that could have been maybe an even better version of aliens 3 i know i'm enjoying it i hope you are i hope you will too uh if you know an aliens fan that doesn't have this it's almost christmas <laughs> You take care. I'm Bill. I'm the man in the middle. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. Like I said, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. If you have, if 
you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, why not? You get to see my beautiful face a couple times a week and uh, listen to me ramble on. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.